Hello, let's talk about a cylinder with a cross-sectional area of A moving at speed V through air. How much air resistance should this cylinder encounter? First, let's give this cylinder an amount of time delta T. So in this amount of time, the cylinder would have advanced by a distance of V times delta T. So in this amount of time delta T, this cylinder would have encountered all the air molecules uh, in this cylindrical volume. And the volume of this cylindrical volume is V delta T times A. So V delta T times A. So in terms of mass, the amount of air molecules encountered in delta T can be written as uh, density times volume. So rho times the volume V delta T A. So what happened to all these air molecules? Let's just make a very simplistic assumption that all these air molecules got pushed by this cylinder so they also attain the speed of V, same velocity as the cylinder. So the amount of momentum change that happened in delta T would simply be mass times the change in velocity. So this is the mass of air molecules uh, whose speed changed from 0 to V. So the change in velocity is simply V. If we want to talk about force, we need to talk about the rates of change of momentum. So the momentum is changing at this rate. So um, delta P is here divided by delta T. So, one, uh, so the delta T term is gone and we are left with rho A times V squared. So the force that the cylinder must exert on the air molecules in order to accelerate them from rest to travel at the same speed as the cylinder turns out to be rho A V squared. So by Newton's third law, the force that the air molecules exert on the cylinder should also be rho A V squared. This is of course a very simplistic formulation. Uh, in practice, air uh, being a fluid is quite capable of getting itself out of the way as the cylinder moves through it and so um, probably not all the molecules need to be accelerated to such a high speed. In fact, if the cylinder is moving at a low enough speed such that the airflow is laminar, we usually formulate the air resistance as a force that's proportional to V rather than V squared. Okay, that's all I have to say. Ta-ta!